Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I've got some May favorites for you guys. And you guys know how much I love filming these videos. So get pumped, get pumped, get pumped. Get so pumped you hit that subscribe button. <laughs> the first thing that I have to mention for the month of May are these Dose of Colors Single Eyeshadows. So these are from the Block Party Collection. They are the most beautiful single eyeshadows I've ever seen. They have a really nice arrangement of colors. They have a ton of shades, but I just wanted to bring like a couple of my favorites for you guys. All of them have sort of like a metallic shine to them. And I actually am wearing this blue one on my eyes right now with the Fenty highlighter on top of it right in the center. But that's what I actually have on my eyes right now. Wow, I almost like took my own eye out there. But they're so beautiful, you guys. I need to swatch these for you because you're gonna die at the pigmentation. So basically these are like cream eyeshadows, but they're a pressed formula. So they just have the most beautiful pigmentation I've ever seen. They're really, really creamy. They're easy to work with. I I usually apply them with my fingertips straight to my eyes. I pat it in and that's what gives it the most pigmentation. But I'm just like in awe of the actual shade range because I feel like you'll have anything you need to create a bomb makeup look. This is definitely the type of eyeshadow or these are the type of eyeshadows that I would gravitate towards when I'm going out for a special occasion or something and I know that I want to add like an extra pop to the eyes and I can just take my pick of like what specific color I wanna use and add that right onto the lid and just make the most beautiful, like metallic-y, sparkly eyeshadow look. They're such beautiful formulas, and because they have such a huge shade range, um, you can really find whatever you're looking for. So I highly recommend checking these out and um, getting your hands on some because they are so good. I think this might be one of like my ride or die products for the whole year. Like I'm just predicting that at the end of the year, I'm gonna use these a lot because I've already used them a lot in just one month, so I can already tell that these are gonna be with me a long time. I love you long time. I wanted to talk about this next product because I feel like I always go back to it every summer. It's kind of like a summer just go-to for me as far as makeup goes. So this is from MAC and it's their um, Mineralized Skin Finish in Gold Deposit. So it's this really beautiful bronzy highlighter and what I use this for is actually to sweep it across like the outer perimeter of my face, kind of over where you would go in with bronzer, but I use a very fluffy brush. So it just gives you like this beautiful all over glow. And these mineralized skin finishes have such a great formula for this purpose because they blend out really easily and they're just like that beautiful sheeny sort of look. And because you're using it all over the face as sort of like an all over bronze, it just, honestly, it's the most like beautiful summery skin look to me. Summery skin essential for sure. This is another summer skin essential for me. This is from NARS and this is the Manoy, I hope I pronounced that correctly, Manoy Body Glow 1. So this is a bro bleh, this is a body bronzing oil. So that's exactly what it is. It's an oil that bronzes your body. <laughs> but again, I just feel like I needed to mention this, not because it's new this month, but because it's one of my go-tos for summer. And as we're heading into the summer months, you know, I know that we're all get gearing up for those bikinis. We're all gearing up for those beach days. And this is definitely something that you want to have on hand. So like I said, it is an oil, so it comes out pretty runny. Honestly, you can see it's very liquidy. You just kind of like rub it into your skin. I wish I was wearing like a tank today so I could show you guys all over my body. But um, you can see it just gives you like a glow and obviously I just applied a bunch to my hand so like it looks a little crazy. But when you apply it to your body and really blend it in, it just gives you the most perfect glow. Let me put a little bit on my decolletage because then you guys can see what I'm talking about because it really doesn't look that crazy. Um, as it just did on my hand. And there you go, it just gives you a little bit of color, a little bit of shine. It's a very light color and it does wash off, but it's just kind of like that extra oomph if you are going for like maybe a special event or if you're gonna be wearing like a really pretty low cut shirt or something, like it's just that extra something to give your skin a little bit more glow and just a very summery feel in my opinion. So this is the Ula Henriksen Cold Plunge Pore Mask. This mask came out this month, but since it came out, I've honestly used it so, many times already because, and this is the main thing that made it like stand out to me, the main reason that I really wanted to mention it to you guys because you guys know I use a lot of masks and after a while, a lot of them start to seem similar in a sense, but this one seems very different to me and it feels different on the skin because it has a cooling sensation to it. So it's very refreshing, really like, mm, 
you know, gives you that extra mm. um, So it is more like a clay sort of mask. So you put it onto your skin, you let it dry on there. It has like this bright blue color, which is really pretty and just fun to use. But I usually rinse it off, I would say after about like 15 or so minutes. Um, just when I start to feel it getting dry on my skin, that's when I know that it's ready to rinse off and when I know that it's kind of done its job and worked through cleaning out my pores. And I really have seen a difference in my skin since using this. I feel like my skin is more clear. Um, the breakouts that I had, I had a terrible skin issue this month. I had a chemical burn on my face and on this side, after the chemical burn left, there was acne that started to come. Um, so I got like s some big acne spots, um, some big breakouts on this side. And ever since I started using this mask, um, they kind of went away. So I'm really impressed by the mask and I can definitely see myself continuing to use it for months to come, especially in the summer, because it's a very refreshing mask because it does have that cooling sensation. Okay, so there is some more makeup. Um, this is another makeup product that is honestly, it's just gonna be like a, a go-to for me this summer and I can already tell. So these are the 24 seven Glide On Eye Pencils from Urban Decay. You guys know I love this formula and I've loved it for a long, long time. But I think that these two colors specifically are gonna be so beautiful for summer makeup looks. So the first one is Roach and this is just like the most perfect bronzy shade you could see here. And the thing that I really like about uh, this formula is that it stays on your eyes, do or die, no matter what. I could be out all day and it's still on by the end of the day. So, um, like I said, I already love the formula, but I just really wanted to point out these two shades because they're so summer appropriate. This is everything to me, everything. So this is the shade called Chaos, and it's the most beautiful like cobalt blue. I could totally see myself doing like a bronze makeup look and then putting this right on the lower lash line and just kind of smoking it out and giving it that pop of color that um, summer makeup kind of needs, you know? So yeah, I just wanted to mention these two shades of the 24 seven Glide On pencils because they're bomb. This is the 120 highlight brush from Fenty Beauty and I feel like I'm a little bit late on this bandwagon because the first few times that I used this brush um, when the collection first launched last year, I didn't really know how to use it if that makes sense so I didn't really reach for it. After actually learning how to use the brush, I love it and I have been picking it up every single day. Um, it's a really uniquely shaped brush. And again, this isn't like a brand new product. So you guys might already know how to use this, but I actually didn't, which was interesting to me. It has a really unique shape to it. It almost looks like a shark tooth or something, but because of the shape of the bristles, it's formed to almost like fit onto your cheekbone and onto any area. It's meant to like hug your face, hug your bones, hug those high points of the face so that you can get the easiest, most blended out highlighting look possible. And it's just a really, really easy to use blush. I mean, ah, brush. Why did I say blush? Oh my God, I'm getting sick, you guys. Well, I'm already sick and I feel like I'm so tongue tied all of a sudden. <sighs> such a thing, such a thing. Ever since I started using this, it's really easy to just whoop, whoop, swipe on my highlight and have it feel and look very blended out very easily. So I really, really do like this brush now. And it's just interesting that, you know, I didn't necessarily love it the first few times I tried it. And then once I really got into it, once I learned how to use it, that's when I found the power of this brush. Um, another product that I never thought that I would be here saying that I loved is liquid blushes in general. Cause I remember this one time my friend Cairo was like using a liquid blush from NARS actually. And I was like, what? Like liquid blush? Like what's the point of that? You know what I mean? Well, Lo and behold, here I am a couple years later, I tried it out and my life is honestly changed. So this is the NARS liquid blush in the shade Hot Tin Roof and it is pretty dark, but it works so beautifully. This is the only shade that I own right now, but I kind of want to go and get like a bunch more of the NARS liquid blushes because I'm so obsessed. I usually just pump like one little dot onto my hand and I'll take my beauty blender and blend it into the um, back of my hand so that the product kind of gets dispersed and then I'll go right in with my beauty blender and apply it to the apples of my cheeks and blend it backwards up into the hairline and it just gives you the most beautiful natural flush and then I usually do go in also with a powder blush to set it down but because you're using a liquid and then setting with a powder it doesn't get, get like crazy by any means but it makes your blush and your rosiness last 
all day long because you are using that more layered technique. But like I said, um, when I've been using this particular liquid blush, again, I haven't used many others, but when I've been using this one from NARS, I do not feel like it looks cakey or too crazy or too clown-like at all. It just looks so beautiful and it's so long lasting. So I feel like it's such a good little tip that I've kind of learned. Um, and now, I'm not gonna be able to live without it. Sigma actually released some skincare brushes, which I was really, really excited about. And I am going to be talking about these a lot more in depth in a video that's coming up all about like my, basically like my ride or die um, go-to summer skincare products. But I've been using this, these brushes with a lot of my favorite summer skincare things. So basically what I love about them is one, they are antimicrobial and also waterproof. So you're not putting bacteria onto your skin, especially not as much bacteria as you would be transferring onto your skin with your hands and your fingertips because under your nails, there's a lot of bacteria that gathers up in there. And when, when you, you know, dip your hands into like your skincare and then apply it to your face. You're kind of transferring a lot of bacteria onto your skin and into your pores. So that's one thing that I love about these brushes, but also um, they're really gentle on the skin. Oops, I just dropped one. <laughs> they never pull on my skin, so I can be really gentle when applying my skincare, which is obviously really good for like anti-aging purposes and just keeping your skin looking as youthful as possible for as long as possible. So that's definitely another reason that I just I can't live without these anymore when I'm doing my skincare regime. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing a huge, um, more in-depth video on these brushes and on the specific products that I use with each individual brush and just more benefits about the brushes that I've found since using them. But I'm telling you guys, your life will be changed if you try these because it just feels like you're at the spa every day and it really inspires you and like motivates you to get in there and do your skincare regime. You guys know how hard it is for me to take off my makeup. Like once I get tired, I pass out. I pass out. Like there's no waking me up, but because it feels like a spa, I like want to take off my makeup earlier. Does that make sense? I did wanna mention them because I've been using them for the past month and I genuinely do really, really love them. So another skincare product, how pretty is this? Isn't it so cute? This is the Tatcha the Pearl and this is actually an under eye treatment but it has some color to it. So when you put it on, it I wouldn't say it's like a concealer by any means because it's definitely a lot lighter coverage than a concealer is even but when you put it on it's actually correcting the darkness under your eyes and I actually have really dark under eye circles so I'm really interested in products that um, correct that honestly and this one actually has pearl um, like pigments in it so that it really helps to like try to correct that um, under eye darkness. And I have seen a difference in the puffiness and the darkness since I've been using this. So I've been using this for probably about three weeks now. And like I said, I have seen a difference. And it is nice that it has a little bit of coverage in there so that when you apply it, um, it does kind of cover it a little bit. But like I said, it is definitely lighter than a concealer. So I wouldn't really call this like a medium coverage even, like a very, very, very light coverage, but still a little bit, you know? Still something, something. Um, another product that I have to talk about, this is MAC Strobe Body Lotion. Um, it's similar to the NARS Bronzing Oil, but this one doesn't have a bronzer in it. So this is just a lotion, but it gives you the most beautiful shine to your skin. It just gives you such a pretty glow. And this one is in the shade Opalite, so it does have like more of a pink tint to it, but I still like it. It's actually super lightweight, so when you're applying it, it doesn't ever feel sticky. It doesn't feel like too heavy on the skin. Skin. and um, overall I've just really enjoyed using it since I got it. The other thing that I forgot to mention when I was talking about the NARS product is that because this has um, a, a bit of bronzing in it, if you're wearing light colors or white colors, there is a chance that it could transfer, especially if you're sweating, if it's like hot. So this is probably the best option if you're gonna be wearing lighter clothes because this will not transfer and it won't turn your clothes like a different color. This last product is honestly like a little bit awkward, but I don't know. I just, I wanted to mention it because it honestly is one of my favorites and it's just a thing. And I'm hoping that it will help you guys out, um, if anything. And I know, like, I honestly know that it's gonna be kind of awkward to talk about, but I'm hoping that it helps you anyways. So this is from um, Sweet Spot Labs and it's a gentle wash, you know? 
or like down there. I actually didn't know this for a long time, but as a woman, you're not really supposed to use like harsh body washes or even body wash that you use on the rest of your body for down there because you really want to keep it, um, keep the pH level balanced down there. So you wanna use the most gentle body wash possible. And this one has been amazing for me. It is 97% natural, so it's really, um, you know, I don't know. It just, it just, it just, comforts me a little bit, you know? It does definitely help to um, balance out those pH levels and it's not irritating at all. So that's one thing that like a lot of people find with traditional body washes um, when using it in the wrong areas is that they can be very irritating. And this one actually does have like coconut sunflower and jojoba oils. So you're keeping everything moisturized, you're keeping everything good and good and I just hope this helps you guys because that was like probably one of the most embarrassing moments of my life to try to talk about that. I don't get embarrassed easily often, but that was a lot. That was a lot. I'm like getting red. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up because I'm, I'm trying here. I'm trying to give you guys some good advice, some good products that I genuinely do love. So I hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video.